The State Department is warning Americans against traveling to Ukraine. Secretary of State John Kerry says he feels anger and anguish after yesterday's deadly violence. Major Garrett is at the White House where officials are considering stronger action against Ukraine's government. Major, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie and Nora. The White House is no doubt aware of this announcement of a preliminary deal to end the bloodshed in Ukraine, but it's withholding formal comment. The White House continues to threaten Ukraine with even tougher economic sanctions if the bloodshed continues. It wants to see just how enthusiastically this preliminary deal is embraced by the besieged government of President Viktor Yanukovych and the street protesters seeking his immediate ouster. Now, the violence has continued all week, even after the announcement of a truce on Wednesday that accounts for part of the White House caution. But the difference now is bigger players are involved. There's a Russian envoy who's been negotiating with the Ukrainian government, and yesterday President Obama spoke by telephone with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. The European Union has been involved in these negotiations, and of course, Germany plays a very large role within the European Union. Also yesterday, for the second time this week, Vice President Joe Biden spent more than an hour on the phone with Yanukovych, urging him to pull back all security forces, specifically snipers and paramilitary units most responsible for the violence in the streets. Now, this deal announced would bring opposition figures into a new unity government, calls for a referendum on the Constitution in September and new presidential elections in December. Generally speaking, the White House has supported those kind of moves to resolve this crisis. But again, Charlie and Nora it wants to wait to see just how enthusiastically both the opposition and the Yanukovych government are committed to this preliminary deal. And that's why this is a crucial moment, Major. Thank you.